Yes, also, he's kind of an asshole. So that's it's adding to the injury. Okay. So, just... Uh, minus great. one. Minus one? Yeah. Success! You're going to show all the frenzy and shake. Uh, you get a bit, but of course. Hey, check my roll out. <laughs> I rolled four ones. <laughs> oh boy. Nice. That would have been real bad. <laughs> yeah, it would have been real, real bad. <laughs> real, real bad. Uh, oh no, you gain a bit if you enter a frenzy. You get the tempted condition. Minus one to your next frenzy roll. Until you have a meaningful interaction with your touchstone or fall to friendly. frenzy, sorry. Okay. But um, I give him his VT. Yeah, after 15 minutes, he takes out the needle, uh, put in the bin since it's been used, say, Very well, you're free to go, Miss Winter. Um, thank you, Mr. You... Kratz. There is one last thing, actually, I was wondering about. Mm. Um, Ivan had a dog, and his name was Yazi. Ah, yes. Insufferable mutt. I can certainly take the dog off of your hands. Very well. All right. And for future reference, we need not have an antagonistic relationship, you and I. Don't we? You're a predator. I'm a prey. I don't think there's anything prey animal about you, Mr. Crancy. Maybe not for a normal man or woman, against a normal man or woman. But for now, we are equals in terms of dangerosity. I this see. Will, this new, I've learned that this will not last. Well, um, she will nod and um, say, until next time. And uh, by the way, could, do you mind if I... Can you direct me to where the, where the animal is? Don't worry, I'll send one of my help. And they will give you the dog on the bottom floor. Okay. And on my way out, if he does... Assuming he doesn't follow me. No, he seems to be collecting the bags of Vitae and putting it very neatly into a refrigerated compartment. I am going to see if I can stick my head in and see where that lavender scent is. You know, what's I in that room. Could dry a sneaky roll. No, I'm, not a, I'm not sneaky, but can I? is the door closed or anything like that? Or uh, is the door it... is closed, and the, thing, the corridor is mainly empty and reverberates uh, your footsteps. Ah, so he That's would hear if it opened. He would, yeah, he maybe he would hear it. You don't know. The, is the door marked in any way? No. It's um, really bland and common. Mm. The only thing is your vampire senses have become the sense of flowers, fresh flowers. Mm. Or perfume. I will uh, notate that, but don't want to... Uh, I'm not quite in the stage where I'm willing to risk uh, antagonizing him yet, especially with, now that I'm at half tank. So uh, I am going to collect Yazi and uh, head out and bring him to my car, and then, of course, take him back to uh, Malachi's house. So when Ivan comes back, I'll have a surprise for him. Uh, do me a quick presence animal can roll, please. Okay, straight presence it is. <laughs> you can willpower it. There's even to. a penalty for it. I will willpower it. Ah, so you cannot three dice minus one if you don't have any animal cans, so plus two in total. Ah, you managed to just pass his initial growl. You sniff your hand, you pet it a bit. And he seems quite content to go sure. with you. He's a good boy. He is. Even if the world is his toilet. 
course. Um, women are made to take up his screaming. And clean it up. But, uh, yep, I'll get him in the car, take him back to Malachi, and uh, wait for Ivan to return. So, uh, that gonna... ends. Switch over. <laughs> We're gonna go to Dylan, Lucian, and Joshua right now. Woo! Yes. Uh, the night is young. So it young, is young, and the party's on. Always. Uh, but I believe uh, Joshua was still waiting for computer parts. Are those going to arrive tonight? Maybe not, as you would have been two days ago. I think just one. They blew just up one. yesterday. Then yeah. It's not gonna arrive tonight unless you manage to steal one, use one from one of your contacts, so not an Amazon Prime customer. Dude, do you have any idea how much that is? That's like five bucks a month. Get it now. I don't have that kind of five bucks a month money. Indeed. Uh, what are you free doing? Uh, oh yeah. Um, before that, uh, <laughs> Dylan, do me a resolve composure check. As when you open your eyes and just shake off the daily topper, Damien is well. Let's say it's breach your personal space. Is uh, you sleep on a couch or a bed? I have a bed, and yeah. yeah what what is your hard. personal space like? I don't think we've heard yet. I have very posh bachelor pad type of apartment. I want to say I have like a minimalist view, like very stark, you know, clean walls, not a lot of clutter. Um, so like Damien. Josh was, but more upper class. Yeah. Damien is full clove at the side of your bed, standing over you, with a creepy smile. Uh, do me that Resolve Composure roll. So that's just a straight roll? Resolve Composure, yes. Unless you want to spend willpower. No, that's cool. One second. Ooh. It's not a friend check. Instead, but you definitely you didn't expect that to be your greeting face in the morning. Well, in the evening. Uh you got yourself a condition, mister. That Lay condition it on. No. Hmm? What did you say? I said lay it on me. Alright. Uh you are shaking. Something oh, wait. Is... Hold yep. on a sec. I have the steadfast condition currently. Yes, you can shed it and succeed. Okay, I do that. I freak and out you gain for a, bit. a second. I freak out for half a second and I manage to keep it together though, but it's very obviously that you freaked me the hell out. Hmm. He smiles. Just a bit wider. What the fuck are you doing here? Well, I wanted to say I took care of your arrangement with the cult. I wanted to go gather some money and give a scare to a local dealer. It's done. Wait, you what? Are, we're you were by very, we're very scary. Very intimidating and quite dashing. I Wait. remember your arrangement was if it was in the if if they called during the day, you would take care of it. Since you couldn't, um, I remember that since you couldn't be there during the day daytime. Wait, hold on a second. Out of character. I'm kind of fuzzy on the details. What was he yep. supposed to do for me? He was supposed, if uh, they were calling you during the daytime and wanted you to do something right now, 
he was going to take care of it. And he did, apparently. Okay, a simple phone call would have been cool, dude. What exactly did they ask you to do? Like I said, gather some money from a local dealer and scare him a bit. They can care of. Who did you talk to? Some loser named Joel. I've stunned when I can. And where did you drop the money off? Uh, I'm looking at a specific location near a park. I've angered a bit around some of a goon came up and took the money. Didn't follow them. Did you follow them? No. They might have been watching the, this one. All right, so they kgb the whole thing. All right, Jesus yeah. Christ. Man. Yeah, next time a phone call would have been cool, dude. You didn't have to do the whole Nosferatu. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do it, but I quite enjoy it. By the way, um, you should really get some new locks and cover up your mirror before you sleep. You never know. Thanks. I'll put that on my action item list. Nice girlfriend, by the way. He just took the picture of your ex. Uh, yeah. She's one of a kind, that one. Care to give me a ride, or maybe you want me out of your face right now? If it's all the same to you, I think I'll hook up with you later. All right. Be Thank, you. You. Thank you very much, by the way. Except for the what just happened. That I couldn't live with. Trust me. I know it's it's, it's creepy. It's that's the point, but I have thing we might have to use that later. I did not do this just to fuck with you. Well, Partly to fuck for you. But I had a reason. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I nod. I'm still kind of shaking, but I'm like, okay, I got it. Yeah, thanks, dude. See you Take later. It. Yeah, later. And he leaves. Okay. I quietly have a heart attack. <laughs> Oh, you you had just start beating him. I start contemplating what kind of weapons I should be stashing under my pillow now. <laughs> maybe, yeah, it may be wise to have a gun under your pillow, just in case. And I probably take one of the towels from my bathroom and cover up the mirror. <laughs> <you bet. laughs> All right. Um, for me personally, I'm kind of almost at half Vitae, so I guess I have Oof. to top off, top off. I'm at six right now. Yeah. So... Mm, you're still fine. I mean, you're not full. Full would be nice. But you're not that hungry, and you're definitely not starving. But I'm going to say after the preceding incident and the full yes. call the previous night, I'm going to need to. Uh, satiate myself a little bit so i kind of just feel like uh yeah it's definitely i need to go have some fun so i'm gonna kill two birds with one stone i'm gonna do a little bar hopping tonight because i want to take down notes for like general aesthetics and what kind of you know nightlife is um so i can start up my when i'm thinking about my club i'm like okay well, what do people actually like to do out here at night uh, you have a message on your phone. All right. What does it say? Uh, it's a text from the speaker uh, saying that the job was done. Uh, he'll, he'll look forward to meeting you next week at the same location, same hours. You seem to know how to handle yourself. I just text back... Uh... 
Okay, it was nice uh, helping you. Hope to uh, help you in a better capacity next time. So you go bear hopping. Oh, oh, oh. Uh you can do a quick hunt. Uh do how do you hunt exactly? How do you approach your uh your vessel? I'm thinking about it right now. I was thinking tonight. I'm not going to go for an exotic looking girl. I think I'm going to find the loneliest girl in a club and just seduce her. I kind of just don't want to make, I, I, I'm seriously like this, like junk food night. <laughs> mm, I see. Still seducing her. So two, one, uh, social presence, socialize, persuasion, persuasion. Yeah. Um, you don't have any trouble getting into any bar with your bath line. Uh, you should be at minus one. Wait, do I do socialize and persuasion and presence? Yes, uh, so no, presence, persuasion. And if you have a specialty in seduction or something like that, or you can go the long run and Manipulation, then, if you really don't care at all about her, you just want a quick bite and try yeah, to. Yeah, I'm gonna go for manipulation. All right, you're all right. You're you're not a nice guy, but well, you have to eat. And it's a minus one. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I should find the. She's not ugly, but she's kind of plain looking girl. Uh, she was dragged out by her friend, and she's not really all that comfortable here. But you managed to have a nice chat, nice conversation, and little kiss on the neck. Once she's enamored by your charisma. How much do you take? I top off, I take four. Ah. All right. Um, do me a wits medicine check. As you finish drinking for her and she's, uh, you can see she's out cold. You said wits medicine? Yes. Can I ex use some willpower for this one? You can. What is that giving me again? Plus three dice to roll. Yeah, she just passed out because of drinks and you. You took a little bit of blood, so she's just tired. You can leave her here. I am yours. She wants to. It's fine. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in a daze right now, and I kind of don't care. And so, yeah, I guess we do it in the uh, bathroom. Well, hmm. <laughs> just leave her in the toilet and <laughs> just walk. Away. Oh, just leave her in the toilet. Wow. Um. Then maybe you're not so nice guy, and maybe you need to make a new minute check. Let's see. I forgot what the table was to do. Breaking point. Yeah, I'm really not focused tonight between the conversation and the. Um. Yes, you're gonna roll for a humanity check as you are very careless with the people you feed from. It's gonna be six die. So and roll. you get a bit for risky minimate detachment. You rolled 6 d10. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you managed to hang on to a shred of humanity by just ignoring what happened. You still feel a little bit guilty over it. Uh, you will get the Wenton condition, but you succeeded in getting a big, getting a big Wenton. Do do do. Uh, you want for the sake of one take, you're distracted with temptation and excess of indulgence. Any composer or result role to resist temptation suffer a minus two die penalty. To which roles? Resolve a composure role to resist temptation. Uh, you can resolve this uh, by just uh, having the night pass or indulge in something that constitutes a breaking point. And what's my breaking point? A breaking point would be lots of things. Murder, uh, feeding from a child. Joining uh, Joining a vampire organization. Yeah, can be a lot he's of already things. joined one. Yeah, it can be a lot of things, but generously acting chaos and inhumane would be a breaking point. All right. Yeah, that sounds about right. As I'm sitting down, <laughs> down notes, my mind's just swimming with a whole bunch of like, how could this go wrong? How could this go badly? Oh my God, what did I get myself into? All right, keep it together, but. You're fine right now, but you, uh, you find your beast is very distracted tonight. Very unruly. Al, Lucian, and Joshua, what are you two up to? Uh, testing real quick. How's this, everyone? It's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's good. I was kind of really worried. Be different, but fine. Yeah, no, I switched to my phone, too. For some reason, the Discord app and my Bluetooth headset don't like each other. Ooh. Yeah, I just lost all power over here, so I'm just talking to my oh, phone yeah. now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, fun times. Uh, <laughs> Joshua probably has more fun, though. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I missed, but... If uh, Joshua's going to do a thing. Uh, you missed... Uh... Uh, ooh. Sorry. You uh, missed miss Dylan, Dylan almost, lose, almost losing it. Yeah, almost oh, I, losing no, a point of humanity. That. Yeah, all right, so you didn't miss anything. Uh, <laughs> I was asking what uh, Joshua and Lucian are doing right now. Uh, Joshua uh, might actually plan to hang out with some people, uh, but depends on hmm. if uh, anyone's going to bother him first. Lucian, what were you about to do? Yeah, uh, first things first to begin with. If, as he's getting suited and booted, Lucian's going to be checking his phone, seeing if there's any important messages. Uh, apart from uh, quick text from Touchstone, like inviting you to a friendly drink in a few nights, uh, nothing much. Okay, I will respond back to Josh. On my way, first got a bit of shopping to do. No rush, going out for a drink first. Uh, so, given that, uh, I think Joshua probably needs to go and gather up some blood first. He's gonna go out on the hunt. Hmm. All right. How do you well, try... Guys... You, you got your fitting grounds. Indeed, I do. And in fact, people helping me on it. Uh, I think I had yes. the question of if Dylan had a dot that he was contributing. I don't think he has the dot yet, though. Uh, I don't know. Let me check. I have exactly uh, one dot of resource. No, feeding grounds. Oh, you have two dots of feeding grounds. Yeah, I have two dots of feeding grounds. Yeah, Ooh. were we uh, sharing those at all? <laughs> Uh, me and you were certainly sharing. Ah, yeah, I know what uh, Joshua and Lucian is, but I don't know if uh, Joshua and Dylan had quite uh, gotten to that point yet. I feel like we talked about it, but we didn't. Dylan? Hello? Hold on, hold on I'm thinking about it. Sorry. Carol from Bud. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, that's a bit. It's a visual event. Wow, four dot feeding ground. Oh yeah, that'd be real nice. But if it's just uh, Joshua and Lucian's place, then uh, that's just two dice. And if I'm just creeping around it, um, ambushing people in dark alleyways, that's probably stealth dexterity. Oh yeah, yeah. That seems to be my mo at this point. That's a yeah, rage so feeder. Feeder. yeah, you can also try to break into people, Tom. It's okay. He can do it. He's a bad boy. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I'm I'm terrible at actually breaking in. But right. maybe I have knowledge of uh, people's personal lives after haunting them for yes, so long. Yes, do. I know who has the keys that are under the mat. I know who leaves their windows open. Uh, you're gonna do. So, do you want me to do it for you? Uh, yes, please. I don't have access to the roll twenty right now. All right. And yeah, I I reluctantly agree to share one dot of my. Or give up? What, what? How does that work? Do I lose one dot of feeding ground? Or no, how's that? we basically uh, work together, and you have access to our collective two dots to add to yours. Yes. So if you combine yours with ours, then we will both collectively have four between us three, which makes feeding way easier and also help you defend your turf. Oh yeah, I'm definitely down for that. All right, so All that's right, wow. That's a good, good thing. Uh, you don't want to spend any Vitae, any willpower, anything like that? Oh, I'm trying to get Vitae, and I have, like, one willpower right now. I am exhausted after last night, oh. apparently. Too much partying. I uh, know. You had plus two. Uh, no, sorry, plus three. Because just minus one because it's a Baron. Oh, minus one because it's a slow... Yeah, because yeah, it's I think also... you said we're saying like minus two because Baron, and then we have our plus three or four here. Yeah, uh, minus two because Baron, plus four, plus two. Let's roll. All right. Zero successes. Oh, 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 snap. You know what? Give me that beat. Give me that sweet, sweet beat. I'm getting a Oof. dot of experience today. Oof. Da, 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 da. Do All I right. just like crash straight through someone's window? And uh, no, even better. Let's roll on the table of what could go wrong. What could go wrong? Oh, you have a what could go wrong table. Oh, this is yes, be fantastic. I do. I this is uh, the only game that you can fail into a success. Yes, I mean the game is based around failure. Uh, one, two out of three time you will fail. You roll. Up, uh, oh, you gain one experience. But failure uh, is you. rewarded. Uh, so that's fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, actually. Whoop. Oh, no. Ten cops show up? Oh. <laughs> Either really good or really bad. Oh, really bad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now you've successfully failed. Joshua, my sweet summer child, what's happening to you? Oh, Joshua. <laughs> oh. oh, no. <sighs> All right, you're walking, well, creeping along the alleyway uh, when you spot a man that seems to be a bit drunk coming in the darkness of the alleyway. Uh, you do not think as you're very, very hungry and you just trail sneak behind him and straight well in front of him because it's pitch darkness and only you of superior vampiric senses can detect anything of course and you go for the juggler and there's nothing no pulse no red bits no blood and it tastes like decomposing flesh uh oh the man who Look Ooh. drunk, no up from explosion, look quite dead and quite deader than you. Just Ah oh, jeez, buddy, are you okay? Look down on you and say What do you think you are doing, little Lish? What the hell are you shamblin' about? Don't take kindly to those who try to feed on me. I'm taking kindly to those who 
don't even have a heartbeat or bleed. I mean, I got like at least one of those. What's your name? Joshua just like kind of thinks for half a bit. Don't try to lie to me. I'll tell you what. You can... Hmm. Yeah, Joshua is going to not lie, but conceal his identity. He is going to go with... You can call me Vermin. Vermin. Just who are you? You're going to do a manipulation subterfuge check with that. Okay. Uh, plus... So this your... is... Uh, yeah, plus my uh, thing Alternate of... identity. Yeah. Alternate identity, I have a subterfuge specialty of hiding my identity. Ah. And it is also, in fact, you know, like you said, it's it's the identity that I uh, alias as, so. <laughs> Did I? Again? Yes. I'm sorry, you maybe... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't roll for you. No, no. Can I can wow, I just take like another uh, dramatic beat for that? And in the yes. midst of it, I'm you know just like I'm puffing myself up. I'm flicking my hair back, you know, like popping my coat. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm the I'm the cryptic hacker, Joshua. I mean, shit, uh, Herman, no, Josh, damn it, the man, <laughs> literally just bored it out. Picks you up by the collar, like if you, uh, like if you weigh nothing more than a feather. Uh oh. He approaches his face, so it's close to you. You can smell the decaying flesh and see bits of it falling off. Listen here, Joshua. I will remember this. Joshua is probably going to like. I'm not going to take revenge now. Where's the fun in that? But maybe tomorrow, maybe in 10 years, maybe in 100, or maybe in an hour, you're going to suffer, little leash. So right now, Joshua doesn't need air, but he's probably like a psychosomatically gasping just for being like held up. Yes, because you have the spook condition. Yes. And so he's, his only retort right now is going to be, a, uh, to, to, to who do I owe the pleasure then? The man doesn't answer. As you can see the body just shaking violently. The grip on your color just, well, is no more yours back on your feet mm -hmm. and you can see a dark cold cold shadow with two and yellow eyes that looks at you with contempt as just coming from his throat and you can see the, sh the thing shape itself like a bird and fly away at the main before you just begin to fall to rot and dust and it does not shamble anymore. The cadaver just fell down on the ground. Uh, I, I know just how terribly fucked Joshua is right now, but... Oh, oh you're boy. very fucked, mister. Very, Super very fucked. Super fucked. Uh, but it just flew off, or... Something yes. else did, and it col and the body collapsed to the ground. Yes, so and now you have I a dead exactly... body in your feeding territory. Yes, that's not great. That's a second one. Yeah, and you didn't even cause this one. I know. I'm, I I gotta do more. I can't just let <laughs> someone else pop up my high score. Uh, but more importantly, I don't have medicine, but I want to check on this guy on the ground. All I right. want to see what else I can figure out about him. I suppose um, I'm probably going to try doing two different sides of it. One is investigation to figure out like who this guy is, where he lives, or maybe anything that happens. All right, which investigation? 
No, intelligence it's not Grim Proxy, investigation. So no bonus. No, it's not. But I'm a smart boy. I ought to make this. Ah, you have one success, so you're smart. Uh, the man Yay. was wearing a tethered remnant of a black suit, which seemed to be of a funerary sort. The kind of suit is that is your last suit. Ooh. So he must have been coming right off a cemetery. And judging by the rot, uh, yeah, it's been having quite some time since he's seen the open sky. No uh, identifier on him. Other than he was tall and a bit stocky. Right. Uh, it's not good to leave this in the middle of the street. I'm going to at least pop this into my van and... I want to use my streetwise to figure out where, what cemetery is nearby that this guy could have possibly come from. You sure can. I don't think I have any sort of streetwise, especially. Oh, wait, no, I do. It's cacophony, so that doesn't yeah, apply. Yeah, that doesn't count. Oh, wait. Wait, we're going at Don Reroll 10s. That is correct. And you didn't. <laughs> you didn't wow. add any tens. So. Yeah. Did I? Did I fail again? No, no, no. But you uh, haven't got any tens, precious. No, you have three successes. Uh, All right, that's still good. Uh, this guy. Great even. Funerary costume is of high quality, and quite old looking, uh, aside from the rot. So it must be in one of the cemetery in uh, the down downtown, near the cathedral, probably. Is that the same cathedral I was at before? No. Alright, didn't, didn't think so. No, no, no. Oh, that's not that I think of it. You could try to dump the body in the, the church or ask for help. I could just dump the body, but I mean, if this guy just crawled out of a grave, it might still be open. I could just dump him back in, hopefully with nobody <laughs> seeing me or being any of the wiser. That's my current hope. Now, the real That's... question is, can I even pull that off with my luck? Uh, maybe if you were a Nosferatu with a obfuscate? Is there like a large crowd gathered around tonight? No, but the cathedral is a touristy site and... There's a lot of little shops and bars near it. And chances are, and there's a lot of circulation too, especially in this early in the night. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess I gotta keep a dead body in my van for a few hours, huh? I mean, <laughs> the stench is not gonna get worse, is it? Or That's maybe true. It it's all right as bad as it's going to get, but it also means that I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning later on. Yeah, but it's all right. You don't have to breathe, so, you know. Yeah, so Joshua probably at this moment is going to take a moment, cross his arms, take a deep breath he doesn't need, and try to think what he's going to do. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, wait, what were you saying? Uh, I was just saying, like, pass the torch. Ah, all right. <laughs> I was going to do that. Um, all right. Uh, Lucian, meanwhile. What are you doing? <laughs> well, after getting suited and booted, Lucian's go I did say Lucian was going to do a bit of shopping. Uh, yes, but what kind of shopping? That's just... Let's just say he's going to be checking out the antique shops for something a bit better than his cricket bat. <laughs> oh, all right. How many resources do you have? Three. You can definitely get something very nice. Uh, there's some antique shop that's still open in the dead of night. Well, it's not the dead of night. Why did you say that? I don't know. Uh, but with that, uh, you could get, you search for an archaic weapon, right? Yep, pretty much. Any preferences? Firearm? Yeah. Well, I, was thinking, oh. well, I was generally thinking most likely a sword or an axe. Well, All right. Even. Um, 
you could roll me an in a wits academic roll. And I will just go look up uh, this kind of weapon stat, which are not included in the base book, even though there are an entire style of doing based on swords. What, they don't just have a basic sword? No. Not that I oh, found yeah. one. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just dumb. But uh, didn't find a sword. Oh, yeah, drive a headlock. Yeah, uh, I'll just quickly check. Battle. Combat. Weapon and armor, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. They just have like a fire axe here and uh, rapier. Yeah. Knife, rapier. I guess yeah. you could always do middle ground and say two. Yeah, you can find a nice antique. Uh, Caval mm. No, that's a French word. Between France. Oh. Cavalry saber. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Very beautiful. Uh, it's quite fancy though. Uh, it's gonna. No, it's gonna be resource two. You're fine. It will inflict two damages. Little uh, with most. Mm, living things, it's not all. Uh, minus two initiative, it requires strength one, and it says two. Hmm. So I thought something that's easily hidden. I'll take it. Well, to be fair, you are not sure to with obfuscate. People not gonna take offense if you just walk around with a sword. As long as you don't draw it and begin to duel in the middle of the <laughs> oh. Though you I can... think it would be two to just like strictly hide the object but on uh, yourself, two, I think, right? Two no, one to hide the object on yourself. Two would be hidden in a coat. One could be hidden in your hand. Does that work for you? Perfect for me. Very well, you're now the new owner of a sword. Well, saber, but yeah, something. Know to learn how to use it. Oh, you do kind of know how to use it. Never mind. Uh, very well. So, the three of you are about on par with everything. What do you three... Young vampires do tonight. Uh, I think at this point, Joshua will go ahead and ring up Lucian. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I think I need a little favor. Oh, what? what is it? Just a teeny tiny favor reburying a body. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh me. You gotta stop digging them up. <laughs> and when you say teeny tiny, you mean absolutely huge, don't you? Uh, he's not that big. Well, I, I guess he's a little on the tall side. But, you know, he kind of walked out of his uh, grave, and I kind of want to put him back in. I don't think he's... I want to stick him around in my van for long. And why is there a rotting corpse in your van? I don't know. Why is there a rotting corpse back at that building you guys were checking out? M the world's full of mysteries tonight. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> mm. But, yeah, I could use a little help doing it... Uh, quietly without anyone noticing and while you're doing that i think i probably need to check out this graveyard there's some creepy bullshit going on yeah sounds like something that would be up my alley as well well if you want to come by and uh give me a little hand then we could play some weekend at bernie's here very well uh 
Very well, just let, let's get the well corpse out of the way first. It's at 9 p.m. The graveyard is still open, not for long, but still open. Right. Of there might not be a lot of people here, and the guardian might just come around in like 30 minutes or so and close the things without really looking at it because, you know, uh, graveyard chiefs in the world of darkness. Lock themselves up in a cemetery. Yeah, graveyard chiefs in the world of darkness. Mm, not a fun time. <laughs> Let's see, you find goths, ghost hunters, necrophiliacs, and necromancers. Uh, necrophiliac necromancers. <laughs> so yeah, so I suppose while waiting for Lucian to come by, I'm going to put the blue tarp over the uh, body, leave it in the van, lock it up, and I guess before the place actually closes, I will go ahead and give it a investigation. Uh, you could certainly do so at a plus three. Ooh. Very nice. The place is big. It's there is a wall, um, a stone wall, uh, going about uh, two meters high. I don't know how many foot that is. Two and a half meter high, so the living can be sheltered from the sight of the dead. Right, right. Uh, but the place is big. There is a lot of mausoleum, uh, some statues. Not a lot, but one or two statues of an angel. <laughs> Most sweeping, of course. And there is a few people. Actually, there is like two people in a place. An old lady that seems to be wandering, just looking at all the grave. And a um, kind of grungy looking person uh, in a in a big coat because it's getting cold. I uh, was uh, putting flour on a on a tomb. Both of us. Um, first, do you? Oh, why? Yeah, I was going to say, what, what do you? What are you waiting for? Uh, let me do your check. Yep. Int oh. investigation and a plus three. You said. Yes. Yeah, that's gonna. Let's see how many zeros I get. <laughs> uh, you get three successes. Oh, uh, nice. The most notable feature of the cemetery right now is a tomb that seems to have been clawed up from the inside and was quite open and visible. But it's at the end of the cemetery, so unless you go that far, you won't see anything. But you manage to see it. Um, the man who's putting flour on the tomb doesn't seem very sad, but is. Quietly talking to the headstone, the old lady seems just to be bored, lost. You don't really know. Mm -hmm. She's so, clearly walking to walk. Right, right. She's just choosing to walk through the cemetery. Definitely an odd choice, and in the middle of the night. Uh, there's still a bit of light, and the streets around it are certainly illuminated. Mm-hmm. Uh, one way or another. Uh, so you said the uh younger one though was talking to himself. Mm, to the grave, uh, to the uh, gr well, headstone near grave. Yes. Don't suppose I could uh quietly get a little grasp on what he's saying. Ah, uh, you could by being very rude. Uh, but. <laughs> When did that ever start? Well, I'm a you? nice, unassuming boy here. I believe I actually yeah. have stealth blending in. Uh, it's going to be on minus one, two because of the location, so minus one. I'm going to yep. roll for you. Uh, meanwhile, I'm assuming Lucian is actually carrying the body to his rightful resting place. Yep, naturally. Uh, blending in stealth, dexterity stealth. Minus one. I'll spend a point of blood on this. Uh, you succeed at one successes. Ooh, uh, there we go. The man is stuck in a soothing voice, <clears throat> saying, "Just uh, he's talking to the grave to a uh, headstone where uh, the photo, well, the picture of a young child 
has been graved. You know, no, to better remember of the living of the dead looked like when they were living. Right. Uh, he's he's talking very gently, like he was talking to the child, saying, uh, "You catch him saying, I know, I know. It's don't worry. It's be of, it's be all right. It'll be over very soon." And he's putting great care to placing the flowers. Interesting. So when he says like it's going to be over soon, does that have like an undertone of uh, for himself in it, or is it more applying to something else? You would need to do another check. Hey, I have a little bit of empathy left. Yeah, no, you don't. And since you're very callous, you have minus two to relate to the living. Oh yeah. So minus three. So chance die. Oh boy. Let's roll. Success. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Make him up for it. I have a feeling for a moment. No, he is not taking for himself any grieving. He does not seem to be grieving. It's as if he was talking to the child. Hmm. Well, he's being very particular about the flowers. He's talking to the child. Not in any s- sort of occult or weird way or creepy way. Just, you know, very respectful. Yeah, that that was obviously going to be my next question. It's like, is there something really creepy going on here? But uh, if apparently not, then okay. That's well, it's quite creepy since he is in a cemetery at night. Oh well, yeah, but it's not like double uh, yeah. creepy. It's not double creepy, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna keep like a simple eye on him then, and a simple eye on the uh, old lady. Make sure nobody's like wandering over to where my where the other grave is, or where the open one is. I'm just um... gonna wait and uh, kind of casually look over and see like when the grave happens to be like filled back in. Um, ah, interesting. Uh, he does not hide himself. Um, as he gets back up after uh, showing his respect, mm-hmm. uh, you can see him just shaking his head a bit as he's, uh, he has long hair up to his shoulders and puts it in place. And you can see it does not seem to be hiding himself. Uh, it gives you a, a look, seems to mm-hmm. be interested in you. Then, to Lucian, who shouldn't be visible. <laughs> or at least not noticeable anyway. Uh, and he seems to notice a grave and Lucian putting back the dead in said grave, but doesn't say anything. In, Begin to go slowly, a bit awkwardly from you, but uh, out of the cemetery. And you cemetery. know what? I I want to dig into my questionnaire and start getting back some power. So I'm wave at him when he kind of looks over at me, and then start approaching him as he's starting uh, to leave. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, how's it going? Hi. Uh, well, uh, good, I guess. He seems very. He seems uncomfortable with you. Um, he has long brown hair, a short brown beard, mm-hmm. few age line, but he mostly seems like thirty um, something metalhead, maybe soft metalhead, maybe more of a rocker look. Right, right. Uh, what can I do for you? Oh, well, you know, I just want to see how you're doing here tonight. You know, it's oh. it's a nice night out, but you seemed like you were uh, doing your grieving. I just wanted to check in and see, you know, how, how are you feeling? Oh, um, that's uh, nice of you. Thanks. I, I'm all right, but it's been, it, it's been a while. 
I I've come to terms with it. Do you mind if I ask you a little question? Sure. With the flowers, you seem to do something really uh, an intricate little pattern there. Does that mean anything? No, I just kind of it's you know, I just like when the place is all tidy and not beautiful, but you know nicely decorated. You no, know, show show the dead you st still care. Even if you uh, even if you learn to live without them. Uh, Joshua will sort of uh, nod a little bit. Uh, you can hear his heartbeat. He's a bit nervous. Clearly. Do I notice his eyes kind of like shifting back over towards Lucian at all? Yeah, just a bit. But he tries That's... not to look, but he's not doing a very good job at it. Uh, no, Lucian, you don't even get any gross cobs juice, which... Do you have medicine? <laughs> nope. No, so yeah, uh, you're painful. Although you probably need to... We'll probably need to take a shower to get rid of, you know, the smell. Especially since you have acute senses. It's... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get any more vibes off this guy. I'm not really getting one, I don't think. Hmm. So I will actually kind of try to wind it into a lie with him, I think. Ooh. What I'm going to do is I go, it's like, I, I can understand, you know, wanting to keep things nice and tidy. Apparently some kids decided it would be a good idea to uh break in last night yeah oh, they, they do that a lot yeah you know, of the unknown seems to when you say that it seems to just mellow out a bit you know it's i guess it's a way to Come to them with Motonti in a way. I know. Yeah, from what I understand, some people like to lash out once they lose loved ones. Yeah. You know, being but I feel like death. I'm doing my part oh. a little bit tonight. Yeah. I guess you are. Uh, so hopefully that might help cover it up a little bit. Uh, should I roll Scepterfuge for that? Uh, yeah, if you really want to lie to him or just... Do you want to be, sp like, speaking codes or just... Uh, this uh, isn't speaking codes. This is, I'm a right upstanding citizen doing what's yeah, right. Putting this yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. nothing weird going on here. Don't think no, about no, it. Everything's no. okay, sir. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you can do a roll. Okay. Uh, one success is... Just to buy it. I mean... Seems to buy that you mean well with that, but you can see that, you know, he's definitely seen Lucian and he seems to know what he's doing. He's not hiding that, but he seems to have mellowed a bit to you. He's not so okay. nervous anymore. So I will actually like outstretch my hand and uh, go ahead and introduce myself and say like, oh, I I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. I'm Joshua. It's nice to meet you. I'm Tom, and he will shake your hand and fibers a bit, just tiny, tiny bit. You're cool. Wear some glove. Oh, his his hand's cold. No, yours is. <laughs> oh yeah. I go. Ah, oh, yeah. I have to start wearing gloves. Whole place mm. is freezing. Well, yeah, it's winter. No. Oh, that's uh, why I like wearing the big heavy coats. And I just kind of like flash my trench coat a little bit, or you know, just like mess with a little. Yeah, me too. I. Usually night. Well, 
Night Owl in Legacy City at Night, it's usually quieter. Usually can... quieter? You yeah. come around often then? Here? Yeah, to show my respect. At least once a week. Uh, Joshua will uh, nod a little bit to that too. But, yeah. I mean, I go around, you know. So, if I may be so bold to go ask... Go around the city? Is this like a daily walk too, or... Uh... No, you just need some kind some of job around here. Ah, uh, I have a job, but I just do some exercise in the night when I have the time. Trenching the legs, kind of thing. Uh, but um, see, you came to return something. He looks at the old lady with just. She just seemed to be pissing off the place. Just. <laughs> she, she seems to be satisfied with whatever she was doing, and he's relaxing a bit. So, right. Yeah. Uh, and then... Joshua will just sort of nod to that and go, yeah, like I said, I thought I'd just be doing my public service. Yeah, I was kind of meaning to look into that, but I guess it's settled. Oh yeah, definitely. Cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything's smooth over with the uh, gravekeeper here too. Maybe.